And I think this is a perfect hey. way to open. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, what? Oh, Freudian slip. Sorry, guys. Uh, anyway, so moving I on. I just want to say that I like that this debate is, is going on for so long, where, again, like you said, honestly, this game is... I had fun with it. It was a game of the year. I honestly, I don't think I care about it this much, but it's fun to defend. Oh, I would, no, of I course. Would, I would have more of a horse in that race if we were playing Bayonetta and defending that. Because I would defend that game, because it's stupid and I love it. Of course. And if they remade Bayonetta and then made it like a Call of Duty clone, how would you feel? That's, that's, a, that's quite a very drunk, different. Man. The exact same things happened no, to Bayonetta. No, it's not. No, that's, this, is a that's game, this is a game with The exact hit same thing. With different weapons, you fight demons with a sword and different weapons. It's still a hack and slash. I haven't played much, but I You're have played some DMC. Good points, Jake, but now you just want to play. <laughs> now you got too far. <laughs> Crazy. They boys. didn't turn DMC into a first person shooter. No, no, of course. But, um, if instead of being a slutty, sultrous fucking librarian chick, imagine if she was a real pent up, like, nun or something. See, I, like, it would change the game. Not fundamentally, but enough for you to go, this isn't Bayonetta. This isn't my Bayonetta. Well, I think that's that's the thing, and what I was going to say at the end of the last episode. The, the problem is, no one is wrong or right. All it comes down to, really, is if people like it. And that's honestly the only thing. If people love this one, they would make sequels to this with grungy punk Dante. The oh, fact that 100%. Of them do make a sequel. It's just... But they, they did Virgil's Downfall. That was like a very short sequel of sorts. It's like with... It's just the evolution of what the audience wants. Like, you go back... And I understand there may be a bit of, uh, like, people getting a bit tired of it now. Like, you talk about superhero genre now. Everything's kind of political. There's realistic consequences to how superheroes act. When Back when they came out in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, they were just people dressed weird who would go and punch bad guys because they were bad guys. I think... You, then Watchmen you, came along yeah, and you, changed it all. You watch police dramas or anything like that, it's all gritty and they talk about the crimes and stuff. Or... Even if it's funny, they're a bit more realistic. One of the best examples I remember is they went... Like, you watch a show like The A-Team or something? There was an episode where some people were going around and kind of, I think, getting protection money from the town. Yeah. So somehow, the daughter of a fruit stand, like fruit shop owner called up The A-Team, ah. this band of ex-mercenaries, who turned up and just fired guns at these guys and scared them out of town and flipped their cars and then left. What heroes. And there was no reasoning as to why these people, they were just bad guys who wanted money, which isn't that complicated an idea, but there was zero questions about anything. And they, that was just what people wanted. They wanted the good guys to turn up, shoot some things, and then leave. Save the day. Congratulations. People like consequences nowadays, and knowing why bad guys are bad guys. Because they weren't born and said, hmm, I'll take over the world because of the evil. But, I don't know, I, I get what you mean. It's just, you yeah, know, it's... It is a different take on it, but... And that's the thing at the end of the day, everything's a product of its time as well. Like, this like game that, came about, exactly right. This game did come about when the um, Capcom was probably looking at Devil May Cry going, this is getting a bit stagnant. Like, maybe we can make money doing something else. And inherently, I suppose, it is good to see a game company trying something new. They've got a franchise that's kind of working all right. They're going, you know what? We should probably try something different just to see what would happen. Because if this was a success, one, we probably wouldn't be playing it because it wouldn't be as fun to just rip on me the entire yeah. time. But it would be a case of they would have um, made a sequel to it. They would have got some success to it. And it would have been a completely different story. Is Ninja Theory still around? Uh, they are, they took a, an honestly a very sincere hit when Devil May Cry came out. Specifically because, oh great, there's a great camera angle for me to dodge this stuff. See, can I just say, that I, I don't like. I don't like how it came up and said, fuck you Dante. That I just don't like that in anything. I don't like when it just says, fuck you. Like, yeah. Oh, know, you're, that feels really weak Spoiler to me. alert, you're about to see the best boss battle in the world. Oh, uh, I know um, this one. This is where he fights a giant slug, right? Yeah. It's like, it's fuck you, you sack of episode. shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I think it's just they say it once to each other. No, they say it no, like say three it times. times. Oh, do they? Yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. bad. It goes back and forth. And um, yeah, Frank just re made me realize something else as well. This is literally an episode of Futurama. Isn't this the slow episode? They go, yeah. they go to the drinking episode, <laughs> and there's a giant slug <laughs> monster slug making the drink. It. And then they try to kill the slug monster. This is just Futurama. No, that was the way I needed to go. 
I need to start finding all. I'm, I'm, because I'm talking while I'm playing here. I'm not finding all the little nitty gritty stuff. Oh, it doesn't. So I'm not really getting any of the like health power ups or any of that sort of oh, yeah, stuff. Keep an eye out. I probably would avoid that. Slums Mackenzie is oh, gonna be here. Well, I've been drinking it, so I forget. I hope I just <laughs> don't do a short. <laughs> where was it? <laughs> where's the where's the where was all? Oh, it's just the exact same thing. It's time to party down, dudes. I know what you mean. You were saying before about if um, if Bayonetta changed and killed the franchise. To be honest, the franchise was dead. Yeah. And then Nintendo said, "We'll make a second one if you make it exclusive," and that's the only reason that a sequel exists to that game. Yeah, but you still got one. Yes, yeah, so um, I was happy about it, but there's, there's plenty of games that have died and I've been upset about. Anyone course. played Force Unleashed Star Wars? Oh. <laughs> I don't give a shit, I like those games. I had a lot of fun playing those games. Apparently, they were hated. Yeah, big time. Um, well, yeah, it really does come down to that sort of thing. What I was trying to get across is Ninja Theory themselves, and this is going back to last episode where I'm saying, yeah, again, kill Dante. Uh, going back to last episode where it is a sum of its parts in terms of why people hate it. Because it got to the point where the develop. Oh, hello. I didn't realize you were there. Oh, yeah, just stab me through a wall. That's cool. Um, there was a time where the developer, to meme, he started just completely ripping on people. Like, it became personal at some points. And it was a case of he sort of. Oh, I'm just going to let this happen. Yeah. Um, but he got so, like, petty with it. Yeah, this is. Devil May Cry, bro. Um, Devil my Cry, Devil my Cry, Devil my Cry. This is you doing that though, that's not the game. That's no, they're supposed to fall down. I think he's legitimately stuck. Oh no, he wasn't. Um, but basically... You just ripped on it for something that you did. Right, that's a, no, what that's happens, a, that's usually they bar. fall slowly. That's a sidebar that I also say, and it also bugs me about video games in general, like the reason cheats aren't in games anymore, I guess, because people didn't want cheats and stuff like that. Because, I guess gamers have this mentality, if it's there, I must do it. Yeah. Because... Like you say, God of War. People say, God of War is easy. All you have to do is hit square, square, triangle, and you can win the game. Yeah, you can. But you can do a number of other combos. If you choose to just do that one that lets you win, then that's kind of your choice. Because there's a yeah. lot of fighting games where you don't have to use all of the mechanics to win. And if I choose not to do that to simplify it for me, then that's cool. Yeah. It, just because the game, there's a way to cheat the game, doesn't necessarily mean that the rest of it is invalidated if you choose to use that. Well, the developers of the um, the remakes of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask chose to keep all the bugs and stuff in if it didn't destroy the game. They just thought it was better to have that experience yeah. again, and if it helped you, then it helped you. To your original experience, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, just like this game. You could probably win the whole game just hitting things with your sword. Oh, yeah. Oh, very easily. But, very easily. But you don't have to do that. It's boring. And that goes, that goes back into why Devil May Cry is Devil May Cry, because of that sort of stuff. And what originally was happening, like, I, I wish I could find the video to show you, um, but it's basically the opening it, and he literally just hits someone with an axe three or four times, the exact same hit, and he gets SSS straight away. And then people immediately got angry at that, and then they started changing it from there. Um, I, I mean, can we put a link in the doobly-doo down the bottom so people can find that? I'll find the video and give it to you. But it really is a case of what was originally displayed as this. Everyone was angry at the beginning because, by the way, this is fucking disgusting. Yeah, this is um, so gross. It was angry at the beginning because they're like, we're changing everything, everything can get fucked, and then they released a video of it, and the actual gameplay itself was completely different. Oh, well, not completely different, but fundamentally different. And that was another thing where people got up, up in arms, but let's just enjoy this part for what it is. Wait, Luke, what, 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 was, what was the point you were going to make? You read something? Yeah, so I just read that Ninja Theory um, is actually making a new game coming out this year. They've only made one game, apparently, since this one, which was they um, co-made Disney Infinity 3.0. Right. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, they kind of went off the rails a bit. Yeah. Now, this game Make came out about game. four years ago, originally. Yeah. Right? So now they're making a new game, yeah. which is a um, new IP, a hack-and-slash-style game yeah. called Hellblade. Okay. <laughs> and it's described as a Devil May Cry style game. Oh, fuck off. Really? Yes. So, my question to you, Jake, is... There are only so many genres, man. If this game was instead a game called Hellblade with Cool Boy Steve as a main character, <laughs> would you think that this would be a, a passable game? And would you have the same animosity that you have towards this? God, no. This is a fun game. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Yeah. This is a fun game, 100%. I would have played it without a doubt if it was not, like, what it was. Because, again, it's just, it's not just what it is. It's a sum of its parts when it comes to why people hate it. But that's what a lot of people said. 
this is an okay game. Like, this would have been a perfectly game, a perfectly good game. It's got the aesthetic, it's got the look. It does what it wants to do, and it does it reasonably well for what it wants to do in that style. But it's not Devil May Cry. So, so it's almost like a, like a spit in the face to name it Devil May Cry. You no, know, I can understand, I I can understand where that. you're coming from with that. Because, for me, a game and franchise that I was really into, that they completely changed from what it originally was, was Assassin's Creed. Yep. If they had made Assassin's Creed 3, or Assassin's Creed Black Flag, took out any reference to Assassin's Creed, called it something completely different, those games I probably wouldn't have minded or hated as much as I did. But people but liked Black Flag. Black Flag was good as a game. I hate this guy. Oh, it's two of them, shit. Black Flag was good as a game, but it was not a Assassin's Creed game, it was a Pirates fucking game. Yeah. And if they had called it, I don't know, Pirates of the fucking Caribbean or something, it would have been a mad game. By the way, sorry, when they turn blue on their back, you're supposed to whip them down. If you can do if you mondo put, damage to them. If you put Black Flag into the um, storytelling chronology of the Assassin's Creed series, it makes no sense. Assassin's Creed 3 ends with the uh, world ending, um, and it has this big cliffhanger ending. Black Flag begins, and you are an intern at the Animus Corporation, and seemingly nothing has happened. Um... I'll stop you there for a second. What happened with Black Flag was they released um, uh, they released Assassin's Creed 3 because every Assassin's Creed after the original did a thing where it basically they tried out something new to see if it stick. There was the tower mm. defense, there was the building your Assassin's they put Creed the shit, in Brotherhood. Shit in free, yeah. Exactly right. And they liked that, so they did it in Black Flag better. And a lot of people like that. That's why they changed that. This again. Um, this is where the sorry the external stuff comes into it because the first. Have you ever played God of War? Yeah. Remember yes. how the first God of War ended? He you know, killed with himself. Kratos. No. At the end of God of War one. Kratos killed Ares and then became the titular God of oh, War. Oh God of War. That's had right. Had him sitting on a throne and it showed cutscenes of him being the God of War to the present day. It showed World War One and two and him sitting there as the God of War. People liked the game. God of War two came out. They retconned it. Because that's just... I mean, obviously they're not going to stop a franchise that makes some money. Which Assassin's Creed did. The, as see, opposed to I think the thing, Ninja Boatman. For me, the thing with Assassin's Creed was that it just kind of betrayed the original creator's original vision. Whereas I, I still to this day wish we had got that ancient Japan Assassin's Creed game that he we still might. wanted to make. We might. I hope we do eventually. I know that... I'm actually curious. I've, my interest has been re... Sparked in Assassin's Creed now they announced an Ancient Egypt game. That's which, pretty cool. Yeah, Assassin's Creed Empire, which will come out this year. I'm pretty interested in that, but yeah, since Free went to the Civil War or Revolutionary War, whatever it was. Uh, it was a, uh, the Revolutionary yeah. War. Yeah, I felt like that was just a very shitty setting for an Assassin's Creed storyline. It also, again, comes down to something you were saying before, Jay. That the people that make the games are in fact people? Yes. Well, you were saying he was getting very petty about it. It does take a certain kind of person to be able to sit there day in, day out and watch the world say, what you're doing is terrible and I hope you fail for this. I'm sure people, many people say, I hope life. you die. It oh yeah, no, there was, there was some very angry, very vehement people it about it. It takes a certain kind of person to not go, you know what? Stuff the lot of you. Yeah, but and fight back. That's the same people that like when celebrities whinge about like anything to do with their life. They're like, "You're celebrities. Why are you crying?" I feel like that sort of job. There's a reason not everyone is in that job. You have First to have thick skin. Not everyone can act. Mm. That is true, and not everyone can code game and write game either. Yeah, no, that that's another thing, and, and it sounds petty to say it. And I mean, we're a bunch of dudes playing a video game How that petty we put we up are. on YouTube, but there's that's certain problems that everyone has. Weird. And that's one of those, you can go down the line as far as you want and say, man, you know what, someone's sitting there in a hospital and say, I I'm sick. Dante. Like, I have just had an operation today, and someone will come in and say, well, you know what, you're in a hospital, so what are you complaining about? You're like, mm. Yeah. The surgery that I went through, it's a bad thing, just because it doesn't compare to someone else. And like you said, yeah, celebrity drama and, oh, look at me, I'm rich and so sad and stuff like that. If you spend every day where, if you open a window, there's a chance there's 40 people trying to take a picture of you, so they can put in the papers and say, hey, you're fat, get not fat anymore. <laughs> it's going to yeah. affect you after a while. And I feel like video game developers, they have to know they're catering to their audience. And for them to, uh, to me specifically, turn around and attack the audience, it's no wonder why this was a flop. It's a, it's also a tenuous thing. Did Maybe you say it wasn't a flop? Did you say it did well? This didn't do very well. De oh. Devil May Cry did I very know... well. I know... 
I know that this was a different guy, but there's also something, and we'll finish it up, go to the next part on this one, but something that I've come to terms with is that you can like certain things and not like other certain things. Yeah. Like, obviously, you're a big fan of Devil May Cry, the mm -hmm. original one, but not this one. Yeah. So you're saying I'm allowed? You're allowed, Frank. <sighs> you're allowed, Frank. I've been liking everything. But... Because I feel that happens a lot where something changes and they say, well, I don't like this, so it's completely invalidated my entire experience. Like the whole, you ruined my childhood. Yeah. No, you didn't. Your That's, childhood yeah. is still intact. Oh, so fine. The new I... thing is just different. Just, And maybe the person who's working on it says, you know what? I made four games a certain way. I want to try something different. And then they do and they say, you're not making this for you, director. You're making this for me. Make the game how I want it to be made. And to close off the point with this game, they took it off of the person that made for four successful games, gave it to a dickhead from England. DMC Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry, everyone.